going on, guys? It's Jevin. Hey! Treyarch! Treyarch did a, uh, an update that actually matters this time. Thank you. Airbones is now live. Beating either core or hardcore matches of Team Deathmatch and Domination. You still pick your specialists. However, there's no special issue weaponry or special equipment. It's a classic Black Ops multiplayer experience. So basically, yeah, Bare Bones is the game mode that people have been asking for for a very long time, honestly. A lot of people really enjoyed the game the way it was back then. And then, like, the whole, you know, advanced movement and all that other stuff ended up coming out. And it turned some people off. But a lot of people, including myself, still stuck with it uh, even though i didn't really play uh, too much black ops 3 i played a lot of uh, infinite warfare during the beta and then yeah everybody hated when i posted the game so i stopped posting that as well but literally i had a video with like over a thousand dislikes by itself all because i just played the game that's all that i enjoyed it people were even saying that they enjoyed it but it was just dislike because that was a cool thing to do but here with black ops 4 things were completely changed around we got rid of all the crazy movement even though jumping and sliding and stuff is still in the game so it's not completely classic movement free weapon crate Okay, what do I get? Rampart Mark II Street Race. Okay. So they added four new variants for uh, certain weapons that I think give like 25% XP as, you know, of course we knew they would do that. They have these Mark II variants that just give like extra XP. There's the Rampart that I just got. There's also one for the Kosh guy. I don't know what the other two are. In this Call of Duty, we have instead of a bunch of stun grenades and frag grenades, even though they are still in the game, everybody uses, you know, the specialist equipment and all this ridiculous mm. over-the-top shit that really just annoyed the ever-living shit out of people. Uh, especially <laughs> like characters like Tor for example especially when you don't have to work hard for any of the shit at all you just get it based on time i'm reloading cover him cover him Jeez. shut the fuck up i'm taking this shit wild serious you bitch ass shit i'll fuck you fuck your mother shut the fuck up you bitch ass nigga suck my dick bitch <laughs> so all the specialist equipment shit and like all the barb wires and razor wires and uh, shock drones and the gravity slams and all that crazy shit that this game had people found that 10 times more annoying than just dealing with somebody tossing sun grenades you know you can just throw on some tack mask and just deal with it whereas now it's just there's so many different varieties of shit that come at you you couldn't possibly construct a class where you couldn't die to bullshit so i think i guess since bare bones is there i'm gonna just throw on the stun grenades again definitely gonna keep tack mask now especially since people are realizing you can still throw these stuns and shit so it's going back to the more classic thing which is great uh, bare bones makes it so you cannot you know use all this crazy shit that's over the top now we had bare bones before and i have seen like a good amount of people say like oh yeah community has asked for bare bones before i'm pretty sure i even said that before where uh the community is asking for bare bones they've wanted that before i think it was during like mw2 iw some other shit like that and those game modes ended up being completely desolate like there was nobody there nobody played it after like the first couple days and i mean it was completely empty so sit rep enemy gunship inbound they have a gunship well, as you can tell with people being so annoyed with all of these ridiculous uh, equipments and special abilities and all sorts of ridiculous shit over the top that you just don't even need to earn yourself you just need to exist you do nothing you can go 0 and 30 and just because you were in the game for two minutes three minutes whatever the fuck it is it will just give you anything that just basically tries to get you back in the game it's basically like guaranteed death streaks whether you do well or not obviously they happen a lot less often uh, for one player at a time but to be fair there's a lot of different players with all of these guaranteed things that are going to be happening so it's really annoying but people really like the idea of bare bones just because they won't have to deal with any of that whatsoever and although yeah maybe the mode might not stay around forever or it might not be the most popular or something like that in the long run who knows i would hope it would be this game mode was asked for and they listened so i mean i can't really complain it's there i mean the only complaint i have now is that everybody else that's really good at the game because they don't want to deal with the random specialist shit there's a lot of high levels that are going into this mode at the moment, especially with like full-blown parties because they're all excited to just actually play the game without getting killed by random bullshit. Other people that are extra passionate about it and are like trying to be competitive and at least, you know, we're very competitive on older Call of Duties are all coming to this playlist. So be prepared to deal with some shit. And that Mark II Kashka, they got bare bones and they added one extra bullet for the Paladin. No, it's just like, okay, just one bullet. But honestly, that's all we really needed for this gun. I, I saw a lot of arguments and stuff for and against this whole idea of trying to give extended mags to the paladin but instead they just straight up buff instead of adding a whole new attachment for it where you would have to take up a slot anyway they just gave us one extra bullet for free that one extra bullet does so much you have no idea so a lot of the arguments talking about how like oh it doesn't need it so the trade-off should be the fact that it's slower and has less ammo when it since it's like near guaranteed kill but really when you run into a lot of different scenarios on this game and you just fire one bullet and then you have a super long reload it just sucks to constantly feel like you're reloading the gun more often than you're actually using it it just doesn't feel 
feel that good because of it. Now, in other Call of Duties where we had, like, you know, that single shot, powerful, slower version of a sniper rifle, whenever we got extended mags, it would usually go from five bullets to seven bullets. We would usually get two bullets for the attachment. Now, we just got one for no attachment. And honestly... I'm okay with that. So now I don't have to sit there and worry about running around the corner whenever I see all my teammates sitting there calling out all their shit because I know the other team has it too. I don't have to worry about like four shock drones flying around the corner and getting hacked repeatedly and worrying about like shooting some shit out of the sky or off the ground or whatever. I can just pay attention and just use straight up gun skill to beat people. One thing I am sad about is not having stim, but technically we actually gained three full bullets out of all these mags because you usually get three magazines. Now you have six bullets in a magazine and 18 total shots. Thing is though, since I'm I'm not using crash or there's nobody else using crash i can't really like get a shit ton of ammo so i might have to try scavenger out i don't know though the lobbies are definitely really sweaty so this is all just a great thing actually having an update that people cared about at least to some degree or at least having a positive impact on the game instead of getting an update where they just i don't know added a couple more camos or some shit like that while things are like busted as shit so me personally i enjoy black ops 4 it's just fucking everybody else just being pissed off i'm being able to heal right away with stim is painful i'm so used to stim top of the team 25 13 that lobby was sweaty as fuck I picked up this dude's thing because I ran out of ammo. This Maddox is like stupidly accurate. It did way more damage than I remember. <gasps> Around this corner. That melted that guy. The whole manual heal thing feels weird. Jump over to dude. You can just hear me spamming the healing option and it's just like not working because I'm trying to sniff. I don't know what's up with all these games and just having characters stick themselves with random uh, chemicals and shit that just pumps adrenaline through you or some shit, but later I'm definitely gonna run this shit with like a whole squad of people so I don't have to worry about this. Really wish I got that Mark II Kashka though. It has like a new camo on. Oh, you can't even use operator mod. I'm just gonna keep using this paladin because I'm happy that I have an extra bullet. And just because you're a high level doesn't necessarily mean you're good at the game. Either. But you at least know what the fuck you're doing to some degree. You have to. So oh! I had the stun grenade in there and everything already. See, this feels like old COD again, though, because if we push through, take B. Don't have to worry about some crazy ass, dumbass shit coming around the corner. Don't have to worry about some six year old just flying in and just slamming a grab slam into my shit. There's just a lot less bullshit going on during these games. There's just a lot less shit I have to deal with. Honestly, I hope this guy goes around and caps C because sitting here trying to spawn trap people on A is terrible. All right, I took it. Please give us a spawn. Yes. So sad because we're just going to switch sides now. All that work to get there and we're just going to swap anyway before i was just sitting here lying in wake just fearing for my life that somebody was gonna hack me like i mean what the fuck it's crazy after like playing this game for just like five or six months now at this point crazy how it conditions you to just live in fear around every corner you go around they're gonna be here Whoa, what is he doing what a head glitch I'm happy I have six bullets, but I still have to reload. A lot of people are thinking that this mode is going to end up being like a big sniper lobby mode. Honestly, a part of me hopes so. But so far, not even close. It is very, very sweaty. I've only come across like two other snipers so far in the games I've played. And the other team got destroyed and I didn't even feel like I did well. <laughs> I definitely noticed with like not any of these things available, the game is definitely slower. But people feel more incentivized to actually push things now. Because I guess they're not worried about shock drones or getting blown up by mines. or And they don't have like their shields and all this other crazy shit that you could just pull out. I guess a lot of people are feeling like they should just up and just push things. Although, I've been playing a lot more Domination than TDM, so there might be just differences because of the game mode. I don't know. A lot more people in game chat, too, I've noticed. Wow. Like, there's, like, full people talking in game right now. That one game where those two dudes were arguing with each other, like, and people are alive right now. Jeff. Is that my name? Yeah, hello? Jeff. Yeah? I love you, Jeff. I love you too. I'm trying to return the weirdness. I'd like to get some bare bones free for all. It's probably going to be like six whole people that would actually play that mode. But man, free for all is super hard to play with all the people. Just using profit and torque all the time. I mean, they're the best for free for all. Don't get me wrong, but. Love you, Jeff. I love you too. Love you, Jeff. Love you too. Love you. Love you. Love you, Jeff. Love you. Yeah, these lobbies are tough. It's just filled with a shit ton of sweaty players. But if you're trying to play Call of Duty and it actually feels like Call of Duty without all the crazy bullshit and all the free passes that real bad players get all the time and you just don't want to deal with it and shit, definitely check out some bare bones. Also, if you're a sniper, you're definitely going to enjoy having one extra bullet. It's just, it's so clutch. It's so nice. You don't have to reload every single time you take one shot. Just for the opportunity to try to hit a five on, you have to have a fully loaded mag and then just hope that there's like five people that are willing to challenge you when you have five in there. It's just, it doesn't feel good and the only other weapons whenever they had five shots in them we either can put extended mags on them or you can reload not an entire mag but one bullet like the m40 yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video my most recent videos are popping up on the screen here leave a like if you guys enjoyed i'm gonna try and get some highlights tonight maybe and uh yeah it's for jeff guys
Later.